thanks for joining me to keep up with what's new in the fast world of data science. Now buckle up as we leap inside the black box. The Atlantic reported that over two decades of scientific research and over 1,000 research papers have been invalidated. That's a big deal. In 1996, scientists discovered the depression gene, also known as SLC64A. They thought that a test for a variant of this gene could help diagnose depression. 20 years later, the latest research, utilizing much larger samples of patients, decided that this groundbreaking discovery is a mirage. In the world of data science, a lot of our discoveries end up becoming mirages. We thought we discovered something, and then other scientists failed to replicate our discoveries. There's a whole host of reasons for this, and today I'm going to focus on one of them known as the curse of dimensionality. You may have heard of the uh, birthday problem. In a group of 40 people, there's almost a certain chance that you'll be able to find two people who share the same birthday. If you do the math, the chance is 90% that you'll be able to find two such people. Now let me modify the question a bit. What's the chance that you'll be able to find two people both born on January 15th in a group of 40? If you do the math now, the chance have dropped to only about 10%. You're going to need a group of 840 people to be able to attain that 90% chance to find two people who were both born on January 15th. Turns out that those two scenarios are actually different. In the first problem, I'm looking for one possible event, whereas in the second problem, I'm looking for any of a large set of possible events. There are 365 days in the year, and to share the same birthday can happen in 365 different ways. But to share the same birthday on January 15th can only happen in one way. Now back to those gene studies. The researchers do not know beforehand which one of the huge number of possible genes may be associated with depression. Only one gene out of all the massive possible set of genes need to show correlation for the study to discover a depression gene. It turns out that there are also many different ways to define depression. So only one gene showing correlation with one of those depression metrics is needed for the study to discover a depression gene. The curse of dimensionality describes the massive set of possible associations that these researchers have to sit through. When there's so many possibilities, it's really easy for one association to achieve the level of statistical significance that we need, if only by chance. When we are analyzing data with lots of dimensions, we have to be very careful about false positives and discoveries ending up as mirages. If you like this video, help us build the channel by sharing it and hitting that subscribe button. See you next time, Inside the Black Box. Principal Analytics Prep. Prepping you for the data revolution.